<laughs> Don't ask me no questions, shorty. Mm -hmm. Um, clowned out fire side. I was about to cuss, but mm -mm. I'm gonna stay safe. <laughs> This clown dot fire sign wants to be your friend. Um, fire sign is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. No. Aquarius. Wait. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody, okay, now that you're taking your resources away from everybody, now everybody want to try a different approach with you. They want to try to be supportive and all this stuff like that. But they're only being supportive now so that when they ask you for something, they're going to ghost you until the next time they need you. What the hell, y'all goofy as hell. Temptation. They're playing off the emotions that you have for them or the fact that you, I don't know. Keep your head clear. You can't go back and forth and be like, oh, I'm going to mess with you. I'm not going to mess with you. I'm going to mess with you. I'm not going to mess with you. And it's like, mm. Not giving up having plenty. Yeah. And these people probably talk bad about you and all this stuff like that. And the only time that they... That ain't got nothing to do with me. You finding out the true meaning of a friendship. Like, if if you know you were genuine when you were giving, not expecting nothing in return, not throwing it in nobody's face or nothing like that. If they can't do the same thing for you, then they are not your friend. They're not supportive of you. So that's what that card could also mean. Somebody wants to be supportive for you because they see like they say dang we messed up because it made sense but now we realize we were in the wrong and we want to apologize uh let me show you that i'm sorry but bitch i don't want you to show me shit fuck out of here leave me the fuck alone dishonest untrustworthy like not all fire signs though so if if i mentioned you Early in the reading, I could be talking about a different fire sign. Worried about a foundation. They worried about the karma that's coming to them because of the shit that they did. They knowingly made a decision, followed through with it with an action. And that's the difference between Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine says her shit out of sarcasm. And the reason why she's not following through with it with an action is because it's not her action to complete. Y'all bitches want to bask in divine feminist energy and try to get her to continue out your energy by being sarcastic and and showing your ass like mm -hmm. So you could have trusted a fire sign masculine with some information that would have taken you somewhere and then this person just went off. It's like you gave them information. Yeah, goofy bitch. That's why I didn't give you my information. They would have gave you information. They would have took out maybe $50,000 and only gave you a certain amount of money. 
they probably would have used your name and all that stuff like that. But but with the bank account information, they probably would have put somebody else's bank account information, but with your personal information. And then that way, they would have been like, oh, it didn't go through, nothing happened. I guess you weren't qualified. But actually, you were qualified. It's just that the, you know, it's like, well, we put your banking information and all that stuff like that. Um... But I guess it just didn't go through. Nah, bitch, you put your banking information. That's why it looked like I wasn't qualified because it would have said, I don't know. <sighs> Motherfuckers get mad when you don't do illegal stuff. Let me stop cursing. They don't do illegal stuff. I mean, I feel like a fire sign got mad at you because you wouldn't do illegal stuff. Cause I know I was like I heard something like dang I wish they would have took your kids when the PPP thing was going on because if anything did happen and you had to go to jail for at least three months at least somebody has your kids or whatever and it's like well bitch shut the fuck up talking to me Basically, the moral story is whatever people try to do to you, you are still going to receive that success that you receive. Because while you were helping them try to figure out some stuff, you were also focused on your path and doing what you needed to do. So by you going back and forth with your manifestations and helping them, you didn't know how to protect yourself. You didn't close the gate. So they were picking up on your manifestations and all the stuff that you were doing while you were helping them. And they were trying to find ways to distract you and all that stuff like that. So basically you did the hard work. You was about to fi cross the finish line. And somebody snatched you up, distracted you and was like, hey, you know, because it's like the finish line, you don't have a time limit. So you feel like, okay, I'm almost there. Let me come over here and help you so you can get to where I'm at so you don't feel like I'm leaving you behind. But also somebody else who resembles you or they had to do a clone of you or I don't know. Basically, they that person would cross the finish line to receive the gift. I don't know, a bunch of illusion, uh, illusion, bye, because I'm finna get mad.